Hello everybody, welcome back to the craft room. What I come on today is I just been in the shed doing a couple of things just to keep my mind occupied because I'm back in hospital to have my second back operation next Sunday and I so I'm isolating at the moment so to keep my mind not racing because if you just sat still my mind is all over the place uh, I gotta go back in next Sunday to repair what they broke um, as you all know I went in February and they the kit that they were supposed to be using was broke so they only done half of the operation and instead of having a scar this big, I ended up with a scar this big to where they were supposed to reach and they couldn't reach without this kit. So they cut it a bit bigger than what they wanted to do and they still couldn't reach without this kit that had a hole in it or whatever, I don't know. Anyway, instead of this little scar, I got a scar this big uh, right from the bottom of my bum to the halfway up my back so it's like this so now i gotta go back in and have the repair job done where they couldn't reach so i gotta go back in on next not this not tomorrow next sunday to have the next operation so i'm a bit nervous because of what happened the last time but ayo it's got to be done so my mind is, I'm so nervous and I'm just all over the place and I can't clean anymore. There's nothing else to clean. I've done all the washing, all the ironing, everything's clean. I had said don't stand still or you'd be washed. <laughs> so I come up to the shed and I've just been crafting because is so yeah then then bless my walls so i've made a few little cards and it was just some of these little strips was just a bits of paper that would i've put in would have put in the bin and i just cut them into strips and i've made four cards and i'm going to do another two on camera so there's the four So there's four. I backed them with backing black back paper. These two I left blank, but I went wrong with a black sharpie, which they look look different to them. So they're cool. I have put inserts in them. So they're four I've done. Then these two, I thought something different. I'm going to pop this one on with a black, not with black J, with a green back and then the white panel like that. And then on the next card, I'm going to do a pink background with the white panel, but, but the same idea. So I've just got a white card it was an 8 4 piece of paper cut in half and then folded it in half and i've put an insert in as well and i'll stamp it in the center a uh, birthday sentiment after so let's put that straight like that and then we'll put with the pink one being this is on the top i'm just going to glue that on with just a tiny little bit of the white border the darker on one side and lighter on the other and i'm going to put the lighter one on the top and i'm just going to glue this down with flat first Okay. 
So yes, I just come in this shed and take my mind off it a bit. I think when you're in the house, you're just thinking about it all the time. When you're in the shed, doing stuff in the shed, your mind's on other things. So that's, that's that. I'll put that over there and put my glue back in the pin. And then on this piece, I'm going to stamp my happy birthday with the memento. I got the happy birthday already on my block. Ink it up. And I want this up in this corner. Like that. That's gorgeous. Pop that over there for the next one. And then we got some some strips here. Some are not even cut straight to be honest. I got some black ones, some pink ones and some green ones. And then pop them down on nearer the bottom on this one. No particular order. And just put some glue. On the back. And I'm going to go down there a bit. Like that. And we got a black strip. We're going to put a black strip on first. And leave a little gap. You don't have to if you don't want to. But. I'm going to leave a little gap like that. I've got a pink one. And put some glue on there. Leave a gap. And I'm going to have a very thin black piece but I'm gonna pop the glue on there because I ain't gonna get it on to there with the shaky hands like that okay that's cool and then we got a lighter piece and then we want a darker piece yeah darker piece eh mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. There we go, and then we want the darker pink now. We'll have a bit on there. Just so that's the darkest, yeah. Like that. Oh, that's cool. I mean, you can put as many strips as you want. Maybe a black one. And there, yeah. Why not? Oh, why not? I'm going to have the black one on there. Like that. That's okay. And I'm going to turn them over and then cut all the access bits off. 
No, I got my washer blowing on the line. Blowing livery. And I got some foam pads here. I'm going to put the foam pads on the back of here. I've edited these well. And I'm in a nice... Having a nice day. That's a bit of paper stick to that. One in there now. One another one. Okay, take the backing off. And just throw them in this side. I put them all in the bin together now. Get my card back in. Okay. Pop that on. Neither the centre and stick that down. Then I done these butterflies. I put them on a piece of acetate and embossed them in the white embossing powder. And then put three little gems, pink, and then the green. And then I done the same with that one. And then put pink and then the green. And I'm just going to glue them on. We'll have one on the stripe by there. Stick the leaves up. Uh, the pet, the wings, I mean. And I'm going to pop one by the happy birthday and that's that one done how easy and quick that is and then you insert and I will put a birthday greeting in there so the next one is a green one and we'll, we'll have a darker one or the lighter one we'll have the lighter one why not let me just glue this down I'm going to pop that on with just a little bit of the white border. Glue that down. That's one side the moment. And we're going to stamp the happy birthday. And I'm going to put it in this corner, this one. that put the lid on that chain keep your fingers in it oh that's good put that there in a minute I'll clean that after and then the stripes are going that way I'm gonna go this way now so we shall start off with this nice pink And I'll go by there. Why not? And just build them up as you want to go. Where you want them to go. And got uh, this green. Black, off the dummy, just that. Uh, 
just about to fit on there. Oh, that's cool. Then we'll have the lighter pink. Maybe this narrow one I'm going to just run the glue down there. And put that one on. On there. Like that. There you go. And we got a thin black one. Let me see what we got. We got all these little strips. They were all gone in the bin actually. And I'm going to put a thin black one. And then I'm going to put a lighter green. On the top. Like that. And I'm going to put a wider darker piece on. Just because I... <laughs> there you go. Oh, that moved. We'll cut this off. squares again Off. And card. Pop that into the center. Press that down. Put my two little butterflies under you somewhere. Where's the other one? He's flown away. There he is. And pop the wings up. Pop him by you. Pop the wings up. Oops. I'm going to pop him up here. My pen back in the glue. Oh, paper stuck to the pin. Could go to town with these strips. Could do them more ways. Could do them stripes going down our way. You could do all the paper. But I like that effect. So you got the green one, the pink one. One without anything, just the sharpie. One with the black. If you 
can see. One with the sharpie and another one with the black. And I hope you like them. How quick and easy they are. So I'm going to make a box for them. And I've got six envelopes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six envelopes for them. Then we get the. I can't get the stamp because it fell on the floor. So I have to wait until I move it. And then I'll stamp the middle, saying in the middle, and I'm going to make a box. So thank you all for watching. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. And we'll have card Sunday. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.